why we wear green and other St. Patrick's Day traditions. March 17th is almost upon us, which means it's almost time to bust out your best green accessories and get over to the neighborhood pub. St. Patrick's Day is full of traditions, but why do we do them? Wearing green is a St. Patrick's Day staple, but did you know that blue used to be Ireland's symbolic color? Before the 1600s, Ireland was under British rule. Henry VIII was king and his flag was blue. The Great Irish Rebellion happened in 1641, allowing Ireland to secede from the British Empire. Owen Roe O'Neill helped lead the rebellion and used green and a harp on his flag. Later on in the 1790s, much more poems and song were written about the importance of wearing the color green, making sporting the color even more popular. Jump forward to the 19th century and we see people from Ireland immigrating to the United States for better job opportunities. Irish immigrants would flaunt the color green as a representation of pride in their home country. We all have those memories of getting pinched on St. Patrick's Day in elementary school. What are you, what are you, ow! But why was that ever a tradition to begin with? Wearing green isn't just a point of pride, but it was also intended to ward off any unwanted pinchers. Irish people take their heritage seriously, and that plays a large role in the reason why people get pinched. Not wearing green on St. Patrick's Day is considered disrespectful, therefore a pinch is an appropriate punishment. It's meant to remind those not wearing the color to be more bold and prideful of their Irishness. In addition to this, the color green is also meant to protect against leprechauns and fairies. In the early 1700s, people in Ireland believed these mystical creatures would pinch you if you didn't wear the country's favorite color. Wearing green was said to make you invisible to the mischievous creatures, making pinching an impossible feat. May I have a half-calf, decaf, red mocha latte, foam on the bottom, served in a flower vase, and if y'all got some green food coloring back there, throw it in. <laughs> On St. Patrick's Day, every pub will be filled to the brim with people celebrating the holiday and drinking their favorite stout beer. We need to honor ancient Irish traditions, like serving an irresponsible amount of booze. Although it's an enjoyable tradition, haven't you ever wondered why drinking the night away is associated with the holiday? One of the biggest reasons is Lent. The holiday originally began as a day of feast, when the Christians put their Lent restrictions aside to honor the death of the patron, St. Patrick. On this day, the people of Ireland would indulge in as much food and beverages as possible, though the beverages more often than not were non-alcoholic. Interestingly enough, pubs were closed on the holiday for a majority of the 20th century because drinking during church-observed holidays was looked down on. This continued until the 70s when beer companies began to target the holiday with advertising, causing the tradition to come to fruition. So now when you throw back an ice-cold green one this St. Patty's Day, you know just what it is you're drinking. Pure magic. When March 17th rolls around, you know why we celebrate the way we do and what it all means. I am serving you some leprechaun realness. Now you'll be the smartest one at the St. Patty's Day party. So enjoy the holiday with a tall glass of beer and don't forget to wear green. <laughs>